friends, welcome to a brand new video. My name is Beck, and I'll be your YouTuber for the next handful of minutes. If you wouldn't mind chucking us a like and offering us a subscribe, that would be duly appreciated. So today we are not only doing a review, but we are going to be doing a comparison. So you know there are a lot of products nowadays that are very similar or borderline the same, let's be honest, and I figured why not uh, clear up a little bit of confusion, maybe save somebody from buying the bad product. So I am comparing uh, the NYX Duochromatic Highlighter with the uh, Revlon Galaxy Dream Highlighting Palette. I am going to first go through NYX and the products I have from them. So obviously they are both the NYX Duochromatic Illuminating Powder. The blue one is in the shade DCIP01, which is Twilight Tint. And then the pink, the pinkish purplish one is DCIP02 uh, Lavender Steel. So yeah, I, I guess it kind of is lavender. I always thought it was like more of a pink, but when you look at it, when you put it on your skin, it's pink. But when you look at it like this, it does look lavender. And then from the Revlon Galaxy Dream palette, I have the 003 Holographic Highlighting Palette. There are no shade names, but basically they have like two pinks, so these two are two pink ones, they have a green one which I don't really like, and the blue one. So obviously it's going to be a little hard to highlight only half my nose, so I'm probably going to just go in and highlight like one cheekbone each and then just use one of them to highlight like my forehead and my nose and then the other one for my cupid's bow and my chin. I think that I will use the blue ones because I don't know I don't really like the pink ones personally as a highlighter but yeah so I'll just use the blue ones and then I will swatch the pink ones to compare them to show you guys. So I'm going to quickly do a swatch for the blue ones on my hand and I will show you that now. Okay so first thing I notice is um, they are both chromatic, but the NYX one looks a lot more chromatic because when you put it on like the other angle, it sort of turns like a, a different blue, like a, a more electric blue, I guess you could say. Whereas the Revlon one, when you put it on the angle, it sort of turns like a, a silverish white. It's almost like it, it doesn't know how to be a chrome or it's just g trying to aim for a different color. Um, I don't know, I don't really like it. I prefer the blue chrome, but yeah, I don't know. Personal preference, I guess. So I'm not sure if you guys can really see um, on the screen and like in the camera and everything what I mean by <clears throat> more of a blue undertone, but the NYX one definitely has a bit more of a blue undertone. So it's almost like it's uh, a more subtle chrome, which I prefer because it, it just looks, I know personally, because I've used it before, um, the Revlon one looks a little bit odd with the chrome because it changes so much. I'm now going to go in with the pink ones. So obviously from the Revlon one, there are two pink ones. And I know it is almost exactly the same as one of the pink ones there. I can't remember which one it is though, because I have swatched it prior to this video. Once again, I think it must be pigmentation at this point because these shades have the same issue where they have, I don't know, they're very dusty and not bright. I don't know how to describe it. The NYX one looks a lot nicer. Okay, so the, can't see, the bottom one's the NYX one and then there's two. So there's that one and that one. They're the Revlon ones. So that one is the top Revlon one and that one's the bottom Revlon one. And um, I think personally the bottom Revlon one is the closest to the NYX one. They've both got that little lavender undertone. Whereas that one there, it's like a weird dusty pink. It's not very chromatic. It's like just like a powder. Like I can imagine if you put it on it'd just leave like, um, not a shadow, but it'd leave a colour behind that's not very appealing. And I don't think it'd look very good on any skin tone because it'd just look really cakey and like almost white, just like white eyeshadow or something. But we are now going to apply the highlighters. So I'm going to be using the Morphe M510 for my highlighting. This is going to be the NYX side and that's going to be the Revlon side. And I think for Revlon, I will do my forehead and my nose just because it'll be a larger surface area. And I've already sort of been like, 
don't really like Revlon so far, so maybe by giving it a larger surface area, maybe it can redeem itself. And then of course NYX will be my Cupid's bow and my chin. Just roll it around, because these ones do leave like color behind. See, this is like so pigmented. It's got a really nice finish. If you put too much on, it does go dusty, but that is of course if you put too much on. So, you know, that's gonna happen with almost any highlighter pretty much. Oh wow, yeah, already. I hope you guys will be able to see it. But um, yeah, this is a lot less of a blue. Like how before I was talking about how it doesn't really have that blue undertone, like as the second color. It's like sort of like a gray or a white. I don't know if you can see that. You can probably tell that it looks a lot whiter and it may look good in the camera, but it doesn't look as good in real life. And it leaves, ooh, 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 I hope you can see that. Um, we're gonna bring it in close a little bit. There's a shadowing, and I've seen this with a bunch of highlighters, even like high-end highlighters. You can see there's like a little shadow. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a weird blue, gray, bluish gray. It's like just, there, and it's not like, I don't know, it's weird. So that's a lot whiter and grayer. This one's got more of a blue undertone. It's a bit, it's very, uh, it's a lot softer and warmer because it's not white, because the white is a little harsh. I actually kind of feel this one is a lot more pigmented, weirdly enough. I just don't like the color as much and the fact that it leaves that little shadow, the gray shadowing. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to do my Revlon areas. So my nose, <laughs> that's my nose. My nose and my forehead. And we'll see what happens there. Yeah, nah, it's still definitely got that gray undertone shadow. I wouldn't even say that this is blue. It's weird. And then, oh, it looks good on the nose. That's really pretty on the nose. Now we're gonna do the rest of the NYX highlighting. So that is the Cupid's Bow, which you shouldn't do after lipstick. Um, but we work with what we've got. And then the chin. Oh, that's that. I don't know. I think I do prefer the NYX one. Um, so just looking, even just looking on my fingers, um, the NYX one actually kind of looks a bit more pigmented this time. The color is once again a lot brighter and less gray. Um, so it's a lot less ashy. It's more of that lavender. Um, so I don't know, I guess that's just the thing with the Revlon palettes. Maybe that shows that it's a bit of a, a cheaper, um, and I don't mean that it costs us cheaper, but it costs Revlon cheaper to make than it does for NYX to make their own. So, because I do notice that in a lot of um, drugstore foundations, the darker foundation colours are ashy. So ashy is probably a side effect of using cheaper ingredients. I'm going to go over the pricing just to, you know, so the NYX, um, the NYX one, it costs $19.95. Um, these are all Australian dollars, by the way. Um, whereas the Revlon one costs $24.95. Now, of course, you are getting four highlighters, but you have to take into account the quality of the product. Um, so with the NYX ones, you get six grams. And the Revlon one, you get 14.4 grams. Now, I'm assuming that means the weight of the product, not the packaging as well. Otherwise, that is very misleading. Um, but, of course, you could be like, look how great this is. You get four shades. But it's sort of like, uh, well, the, the first pink one, that's just like white powder. The, the second pink one, yeah, yeah, that, that works. You could use that as a highlighter. The, the green one... Um, uh, what does green look good as for a highlighter? It's a, it's a, it's a bit of a, one, a weird one and I'm using it right now and it's not very pigmented. So I'll show you guys quickly. It's uh, it's not very pigmented. Look, I'll even do some more. I'm digging my finger in there. There we go, that's a little better. But it doesn't even look green, it looks like, 
I don't know, it's weird. The green one actually doesn't look like it's got that ashy grey. That actually doesn't look too bad, actually. But I don't know, I just think it's kind of weird because it's green. Um, but it definitely seems like it's the best in the palette. And then the blue one, yeah, the blue one works. But you're technically getting maybe two shades that you can definitely use. And now, of course, you could be like, well, you're getting, you're getting two of these. And that'll be, what, 38? 1995, rounded up to 20. You're getting, so $40 for two of these. That is 12 grams. And then you go for this. 14.4 grams and you're only using two of the shades, well that's 7.2 grams and that is for $25. I'm, uh, I'm thinking right now that that's probably better, especially because the formula is a lot better for this and I personally prefer the colour. You get the weird grey shadowing with the blue highlighter from Revlon. I don't know, I feel like the NYX one is a lot better for money and yeah, I don't know. I think it's a, a lot better a product, personally. So I think overall, I'm going to have to say I think NYX is the better product and NYX is the better value for money. And yeah. So don't forget to comment down below if you have maybe used these products and you yourself have an opinion. But uh, anyway, so... And that is the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys. Don't forget to comment down below if you have any comments, questions, or queries. I always reply. And don't forget to hit the little bell button next to the subscribe button so you never miss one of my videos. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in one of the previous videos or one of the next ones. It depends. Bye.